If you have a high school senior, you may be scratching your head trying to figure out how to pay for college. Well, did you know your child's part-time job could help? Andy Ellen with the North Carolina Retail Merchants Association is here with details about a scholarship program. So how does your scholarship program work? Well, the scholarship is available to um, people that work in the retail industry and their dependents or children that are part-time, for instance, uh, employees at retail stores and they're members of our, of our association as well. well. That is wonderful. How much money are we talking about? We, we pay out $76,000 a year. Um, we do 30, roughly, 36, excuse me, $2,500 a year scholarships. And we've been doing this for five to the last seven years. Okay, so the child or their parent could work in a, a store or business that is part of the Retail Merchants Association. Yes. And for a parent, you have to have been employed for a year. For a student, uh, they need to be employed for six months approximately. So right now, you could start the process and, and be employed at your local retailer and be eligible for this when you start to enter college next year. So we're talking about students entering college in 2015. Yes, ma'am. We've already awarded scholarships for this year. We were grateful to do that this year and, put, and help kids go to college. Okay. So besides being employed at one of these member companies, what else are you looking for in a student? We uh, use an independent evaluator and we look at community service. Our industry is very community oriented with the food banks and prescription drug programs and that sort of thing. We also look at grades and as well as SAT scores and the willingness or, or interest in pursuing a career in retail. Okay, and what are the deadlines? The deadlines, uh, the applications generally go out early in the fall and it's due March 1st. Okay, so students should be on the lookout for that. There are so many jobs in retail. I mean, of course we know the, the cashier, but there are so many other jobs that have to do with retail, isn't there? We're really trying to awaken, awaken people and make them aware that there are jobs in, in legal, jobs in accounting, public relations, that sort of thing, a logistics job in a distribution center, not just the jobs behind the counter or running a store. Those are very, very important. That's what makes our business tick, but there's a lot of jobs behind the scenes that are great career paths and we hope people will take advantage of that. So a student or his or her parent could be working in one of those jobs now and you all ultimately hope that they will transition after college into some of those jobs. That, I mean, there's so many. Correct. We hope they, they'll get exposure to that, you know, whether they're working in a corporate headquarters again in a, in a public relations or an advertising role or they're working uh, at a distribution center driving a forklift or uh, we hope that they'll get exposure to that and want to pursue a career in that. Retail is one out of every four jobs in the state of North Carolina, a very important part of our economy, and we need to have a great workforce ready to take those jobs in the future. Most of us have dealt with retail in one way or the other. I know my very first job was in retail, cashier at the Piggly Wiggly in Richland. <laughs> yes, a very good member of our association. Um, and this is all part of a greater campaign we're doing called This is Retail that we did in cooperation with the National Retail Federation where we unveiled a series of four videos and again trying to expose people to the importance of the retail industry to the economy of North Carolina and again changing the mindset especially for Millennials mm -hmm. about what a career in retail could do for them. Okay well this scholarship is very good news. Thanks so much for telling us Thank about you. it. Thanks for to having learn me. more about the scholarship program visit retailpaysforcollege.org and again the deadline to apply is March 3rd.